Hey folks, Andy with you today for App Central. Today we're taking a look at Blux Camera, a very interesting new alternative uh, as a photography app. Lots of interesting sort of features and an interface uh, that is, is very smooth. As always, I've got a link down below for you, for you to check out the app for yourself. And uh, feel free to leave a comment of what you think about this one as well at the end. So what I'm gonna do is just show you the, uh, the effects that we've got going on, on here. This is our standard uh, with no effect. All right. Each of them we've got. Uh, each of these effects have got names of cities, which is a interesting little thing going on there. Uh, and they've got a, a real smoothness to them. It kind of reminds me a little bit of what Instagram does to your photos. Um, I dig this one. I think this was called Seattle. So it's around about uh, ten or twelve all up, and uh, I dig it. What goes on there? All right, so there you go. So back to the interface that we've got here. You can do live effects, which is really, really cool. So if you swipe over this way, you've got your saturation, contrast, brightness, and sharpness, and you can see that all real time, which is um, kind of cool. It can kind of put you off a little bit as well, but it's it's interesting to, to get that live inspiration there. You've got your different uh, sort of styles there. But the big thing that they're really kind of selling it with, the sort of wow factor that I thought was pretty cool to start with, but after I'd seen it a few times, it's kind of just annoying and not that useful, is this thing. If I go to take a photo, which obviously at the moment is just going to be black, and I'll let it come back into focus, you can then let it give you advice based on where you are and the weather conditions, all that sort of thing. Sounds really cool, but it's kind of a little bit pointless. Um, it doesn't really do much, and it does its little Terminator thing. Please come back into focus. Clear, 7 Duke South Launceston. Uh, oh, that was a bit out of focus, but you get Low the light. idea. Ooh, I that... suggest Seattle. Oh, thank you. Hold still when snapping. I will do that. So, there you go. It gives you like a little assistant, which is made out to be more than it really is. You know, it taps into your weather, gives you some suggestions. But, um, you know, if you're a real dummy, uh, which you're probably not if you're, you know, a real uh, camera app enthusiast, you don't really need this, but it's something that could lead on to something more. It feels like a first step more than anything else. So uh, back to the interface, if we come over this side, you've got all those different uh, settings there. You, you can kind of do it quick style on screen as well. And, you know, different modes, all that sort of thing, the standard sort of things uh, that you have inside a lot of camera apps. Um, you got a few options down here with histograms, timers, um, you can noise trigger it, which is kind of cool, but I found that it was instant, so the moment you clap your hand is when it goes, so you always get a picture of yourself clapping a hand or something like that, but I had a bit of a laugh uh, with, with that one messing around with it. Um, if you hold down on the, uh, the shutter button there, it gives you those different options there. You've got anti-shake, so make sure it won't take the photo until you're holding steady. Uh, lots of features, and good features as well at that. Um, it is optimised for iPhone 5, so if you use 4S, 4, or anything less, uh, actually, I don't know if it even lets you go any less than that. Um, it won't go full resolution because there's a lot of power going on in doing the real-time effects. But there it is for you. It is Blux. If you guys would like to see a, a live demo or that sort of thing, um, if there's enough interest, I will put it together for you or I can put a link through for you too. You can always check out the uh, the original uh, promo. That's the other nice thing as well. It actually gives you some um, uh, some tutorials if I can get there, we'll go again, here we go, yeah, a bunch of options up here, it does give you tutorials uh, direct from the app, which is really nice actually, to, to not have to go searching yourself, so they've thought that out well, at the end of the day, they're just kind of puffing it up to be a little bit more than it is, but it could be a cool step uh, in an interesting direction for the future, there it is, it's Blux, and uh, the link is down below if you want to get a hold of it. Feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for your likes. It's what helps me bring you more videos here on the channel. And subscribe for more photography 
app and music app reviews, demos, and all that good stuff. My name's Andy. This is App Central. I'll see you for more soon.